Uh, good afternoon, everyone. We have a quorum present with Chairman Viznakis, or Chairwoman Viznakis, and Alex Vallea representing HFA Chair Alex uh, Kenneth Adams uh, present. Is there a motion to call to order the meeting of the members of the HTFC uh, Fund Corporation? I'll move it. Second. Okay. Uh, throughout today's meetings, those first and seconds will be used uh, unless any board member wishes to vote differently. If there are no comments on the minutes, the minutes are deemed approved. Uh, now before the board is a resolution authorizing New York Main Street Technical Assistance Awards. Uh, Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, <clears throat> There are five New York Main Street Technical Assistance Awards uh, grouped into this one uh, one memo for a total of $100,000. Uh, it's $20,000 each to, to each of these five groups, the Pride of Ticonderoga to provide reuse designs for up to 10 buildings in, in the hamlet of Port Henry, $20,000 to Montgomery County uh, to complete feasibility studies and code reviews for uh, buildings along Main Street in St. Johnsville, the village of Lindenville uh, to complete a reuse analysis for, for buildings in, in their downtown. Uh, the village of Victor to prepare concept plans and feasibility studies for the redevelopment of key buildings in their downtown. And the village of Lakewood, uh, $20,000 to look at schematic building plans, elevations, and cost estimates for key buildings in their downtown uh, for reuse. We're requesting a recommendation resolution to award the five New York Main Street technical assistance grants totaling 100000 Any questions? Love Main Street. No, I don't have any questions. Main Street got a lot of love yesterday, too, during uh, yeah. testimony. Who doesn't love Main Street? <laughs> Assuming the first and second previously entered for the board, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried and the resolution adopted. Now before the board is resolution authorizing awards unto Lake Ontario St. Lawrence Seaway Flood Relief and Recovery Program to Monroe County and the town of Newfane. Mr. Purvis. Thank you. Um, doing these a little separate, so when you're under the Lake, Lake Ontario uh, Flood Relief, Monroe County is requesting $1.5 million um, to undertake the restoration repair of the shoreline along various locations as well as the replacement of damaged pump equipment because of the flood event. Uh, Monroe County experienced significant damage. This 1.5 million, it's two projects. For, uh, we're listing it as two projects because they are separate elements, but it's a total of 1.5 to Monroe County that will be funded under the, the General Infrastructure Improvement Fund, not CDBG. Uh, project costs are compliant with the flood relief legislation, and we're requesting a resolution and recommendation to provide uh, state relief funds and recovery funds to Monroe County in a total of $1.5 million. Any questions? And then I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, New Fane, if you want me to continue with New Fane, I know they were all under the same. Yep, Please. that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, New Fane is requesting $500,000 uh, to reimburse the town for expenses related to perform design work and developing a feasibility study necessary to prevent future flood damage. Again, these would be funded under the General Infrastructure Improvement Fund, not CDBG, and these are compliant with the with the legislation. So with Monroe County at 1.5 and the town of Newfane in Niagara County, we're requesting uh, Lake Ontario flood for $2 million, 1.5 to Monroe and 500 to the town of Newfane. And this is out of the total like 9.8 or whatever that was the sort of total approved, uh, total approved applications we received? By the deadline? Yes, yes. On the state side, though, um, not not as part of the CDBG portion. Right, right, right. On the okay. Yep. Yes. Oh, okay. Any other questions? Then, assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried and the resolution adopted. Now before the board is a resolution authorizing an award under the Community Development Block Grant Program to the Town of Cortland for Royal Motors. Thank you. Uh, so the Town of Cortlandville is requesting $100,000 to assist Royal Motors. Uh, they've been operating in the Town of Cortlandville since 1999 and their site no longer conforms to their business needs. Uh, 
the proposed project involves out, outfitting the building to accommodate the dealership and updating existing service bays with new service lifts, diagnostic machines, inspect, inspection machines, and compressors. The total project cost of $261,000 will create six full-time jobs over two years with four to benefit low to moderate income persons. Uh, CDBG funds will be used for furniture, fixture, and equipment, and the cost per job is $16,666 with a, each dollar in CDBG leveraging a dollar sixty-one in private investment. We're requesting a recommendation to provide funding, economic development funding to the town of Portlandville to assist Royal Motors. Assuming the first and second previously entered for the board, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried and the resolution adopted. Now before the board is a resolution authorizing an award under the Community Development Block Grant Program for the City of Cortland uh, for potential recycling. Okay. Again, the City of Cortland is requesting 100000 to assist Contento Recycling. Uh, they're a small startup business, uh, small women-owned business uh, startup who, who has the mission to recycle and reuse and repurpose as much construction and demolition debris as possible thereby diverting the maximum amount of uh, waste that goes into a landfill. Uh, they're going to build a 6,000 square foot pre-engineered building uh, and the recycled products that they use will be marketed to end users as, as fuel in terms of wood pellets, recycled construction equipment, uh, or other repurposed materials. Again, and then the rest would be going to the landfill, reducing the amount in the landfill. Uh, the facility includes an office building two recycling buildings and a truck scale, and the total project cost of just over $734,000 will create four jobs over two, two years with three to benefit low to moderate income persons. The CDBG funds will be used for machinery and equipment, and the cost per job is $25,000 with each dollar in CDBG funds leveraging $6.34 in private investment. Requesting a recommendation to be able to provide funding to the City of Cortland for Contento Recycling. Uh, this is like a totally silly question, but it says they have two Quonset style buildings. What's a Quonset style building? They are they're uh, the half circle. <laughs> they're um, so it's a rounded building. Looks like a half circle. Prefab corrugated. Prefab corrugated, oh, corrugated. Like corrugated yeah, metal. I, I was thinking like in in uh, in plan. You mean like it's like a little shed, kind of like a round shed? Yeah, yeah. it's a it's a rounded huh. rounded building. That, World War II era. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Learn something new every day, right? I had Maybe to look should, it up. We should really? move that into yeah. our affordable housing. I guess no. I grew up in farm country. We all had Quonset huts. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I knew what Quonset huts were. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, no, this looks good to me. Then, Love recycling. I mean, you know. <laughs> with their not. Mm -hmm. Now before the board is a resolution authorizing the award under the Community Paper Development Recycle. Block Grant Program it's to the City of Cortland. This is construction and demolition debris. Even no, better, no, it's I'm women sorry. recycling uh, construction Ruth Ann debris. Ruthann wanted us to do paper recycling. Oh, and I wanted paper. Week, as soon as I saw Alex's office, I thought we should really recycle paper in this, in this we building. We should, yeah. yeah. And then she points. She brought in some guidelines that she found someplace that we're I supposed think, to be I think doing. I believe it's the law. I mean, it that's actually, the guidelines. Those are the guidelines I refer you to. New York City is now enforcing the law, which is why we have the law. Yes. Uh, um, but now before the board is a, a resolution authorizing a dispute development <laughs> black grant program for the city yes. of Portland for Contento Recycling. Assuming the Contento first and second happy, previously entered, yeah. all in favor, please signify yes. by saying aye. It's from Contento, the Latin word. Aye. Contento. I, uh, yeah, aye. Aye. Thank you. I'm going to just ignore you. <laughs> With Anne's point about rescheduling this. Uh, now, before the board is a resolution I, uh, authorizing an award for under community development black grant program to the village of Hamilton for Fojo Beans. Love Fojo. that also, Fojo. Wow. Uh, the village of Hamilton in, in Madison County is requesting $100,000 uh, to assist Fojo Beans. They have been in operation, working out of their home since 2012. Uh, doing home roasting and creating what they call specialty relationship coffee. Um, and <laughs> a lot of stuff in here. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> they're, they're at full capacity out of their home and they're looking to expand. Um, they, they have a plan to, to do something called a coffee college where people can learn about the roasting process and brewing process and then even create their own coffee blend as part of their 
uh, part of their tour, I guess. Eat their uh, soulmates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, also open their own retail shop where they'll be selling their, their blends and their, their coffees. Uh, the building in which they're gonna they plan to occupy is fully operational includes a restaurant a tavern a, a chocolate shop um, And some offices, so it's an ideal space that would otherwise be vacant and it's in the downtown area to help uh, With the walkability and the, and the tourism within the village of Hamilton um, It's going to allow Fojo to create uh, four full-time jobs in the community with three to benefit low to moderate income I'm sorry with all four to benefit low to moderate income persons I have to count um, but no the e. total project cost will be two hundred fifty thousand dollars, with the cost per job of twenty five thousand, and each dollar in CDBG funds will leverage dollar fifty in private investment. Requesting uh, resolution to provide CDBG funds to the village of Hamilton for Fojo beans. Jason, you didn't you didn't note that in addition to all that good stuff, the mayor of the village of Hamilton's name is. And this, I mean, you could almost just like make this up. Her name is Ruth Ann Loveless. Loveless or Loveless? I'm not sure. I did know that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Loveless. Like, that is her name. I couldn't like this one any better. Love it. Hamilton's where Colgate is? Is that right? Yeah. I yeah. think it's at yeah. so. It's super right. rural over there. So, right. They've got a lovely Main Street. They've got a nice walkable. Um, any, so then, assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The resolution, the motion is carried and the resolution adopted. Now before the board is a resolution authorizing the extension of contract with enhanced business systems, DC. Good afternoon. Uh, today I'm presenting to you a request to extend the term of the contract with enhanced business systems. They are, are our uh, accounting a system vendor uh, provides us with services every year, um, support services through our um, contract. This is an extension to the contract that has to be brought to the board annually since it's a multi-year contract. Uh, we have been under contract with them since February of 2014. We have been very satisfied with the, the product that they've provided and this year we're hoping to delve a little bit more into some of the, the more robust options that exist within the, the accounting package. Um, right now, uh, we pay them on a quarterly basis, and so we're just looking to make sure that we uh, can adequately <laughs> extend the contract for the, for the next year so we can continue the services with them. So we're seeking approval for a resolution to uh, extend this contract. And it's going to extend it for one year, sorry, or two years? Two years. Two years. Um, it's, I'm sorry, it's a two-year two -year extension. Okay, great. Are there any questions? And now before the board is a resolution authorizing the extension of contract with enhanced business services, assuming the first and second previously entered. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried and the resolution adopted. The following items are informational items and no board action is necessary. The first is the review of authorized contracts under the Governor's Office of Storm Recovery. Uh, the ninth item is a review of the secret concur summaries. Number 10 is a review of the secret type 2 projects. Number 11, review of secret determinations by the Governor's Office of Storm Recovery. And number 12, review of legal services contract with Cohen Moore. Are there any questions? Not for me. If there are no questions, is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion. Is there a second? Second. second. Thank you. Thank you. The meeting's adjourned, and, and we'll work with everyone on scheduling at a convenient time. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you.